raw is very tasty. I came to America with a student visa in 1979. And that time, uh, very few um, Burmese people arrived here. So whether we like it or not, we just have to eat whatever we get in American grocery store. We miss the way we eat before. So we have to uh, find a way to grow for ourselves. My name is Linda Adams and I'm a community wellness coordinator in the Purdue Extension Nutrition Education Program. My work involves working in communities to make it easier for individuals of limited resources to access proper nutrition and opportunities for physical activity. Here on the south side of Indianapolis, we have a large refugee community from the Chin State in Burma and we were finding that in the areas in which they lived, those were coming up on the census as being limited resource areas. There's an organization here called the Chin Center, and I brought in my ag people from Purdue Extension Marion County, and we sat down with them and said, how can we help you? Pastor asked, he said, I would like to do a demonstration garden so that we can demonstrate how to grow our vegetables in this climate, when to grow them, how to grow them, we see you using compost, we see you using raised beds, we don't know why you do that. And we would like to know why you do those things. Garden is located in charge property, in charge compound, and for mostly, it's open to everybody who, wants, who are interested to do the gardening project here. Myself, I grew up in some small village and farmer family, so when we do farming and touching the ground and playing with dots and that, it's connect me back to my history and that's good for her mental health as well. Party Extension taught us how to grow organic vegetables. We also have a training how to seeding and then a timing uh, what plants grow. We have to start growing in what time and date and specific season. And also we have the training tree pruning. We have a lot of trees here, 160 about tree we planted here in the Chad compound and we didn't know how to prune and we just let them grow. <laughs> to talk to and to teach my people, I have to learn here first. So I'm learning and now I can teach or I can write uh, a, a small booklet to tell them how to grow healthy food and all that. Our ideal success would be that each family here that is from the Chin State in Burma, that they're able to grow the food that they want on their property in the amounts that they need to sustain them for the year. That's sensitive to their culture, that's respectful to their culture, and we want to help them get there. I'm interested in not just for myself, for my people and my loved ones. I want them to be healthy like me. <laughs> for me, the most exciting part about working with this project is learning more about the Chin people, but really just getting to spend time with them. They have been wonderfully welcoming to me. They are my friends, and I am so appreciative of their acceptance of me and our work. Learning about their culture and sharing time with them has been wonderful.